this is Avi. In today's video, I'm unboxing this AirPower wireless charger. It's not the Apple one, they just use the same name. I got it from uh, a deal that came with my new Samsung Galaxy S10e. Uh, it's supposed to be a wireless charger that works for the Samsung Galaxy S10e, I'm guessing. But on it, it specifically talks about iPhones. I'm just going to unbox it so you can see if it's legitimate or not. And then I'm going to test it on my phone so you don't have to. The boxing is pretty low quality. Let's open it. All plastic. Comes with the instruction manual. On Chinese. You do it over micro USB. And right now I have an OtterBox case on my phone. I took off the hard piece. It's the commuter. I'll link it in the description. And I'll see if it works with the commuter on it. Here it comes out. There's plastic on the back, which is kind of pointless. It's a uh, pretty lightweight with being a wireless charger. It also comes with a cable, but they skimp on getting an actual AC outlet. There's a quality certification. Doesn't even have a date or suspector, it just has a stamp. I'm gonna put these aside for now. And let's actually see if it works. So I prefer not to use wireless charging because I could just plug it in and it doesn't make much of a difference to me. Uh, but I got it as you know as a gift. So I might as well just try it. I'm gonna plug it in right now. Uh, Plugging in with a low power charger because I don't want to potentially ruin my Samsung one. Keep that noise is for my laptop. As you can see, there's a little blue light. Uh, now, since I'm shooting from the Samsung phone, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to switch to my other phone and then we'll be able to see if it actually works. Back right now I'm shooting from my Axon 7, my former phone, to just show you how to, it works. Now I have the hard case on, so it's with the full OtterBox commuter case. You just tap it on, and then you see the charge animation. I'll do it again so you can see. Okay, it's not charging, no. Let's put it on, and now it's charging. Uh, there are a few setbacks and stuff that I don't like about wireless charging, and specifically this one. Uh, if I take my hand off it, it gets really hot, and you feel it on the phone too. So, I guess if you're wireless charging, then I suggest you don't do it the case, or you just be careful so it doesn't overheat too much, or you charge it when it's off even. Uh, I also shut off the quick charging because it doesn't really matter for me. I have a battery pack if I need and I'm not usually rushing and I prefer to have my battery last longer. And theoretically, if I don't use it, I'll last like, enough for two years and then some. Like my Axon 7, the battery life, life lasts about four hours of screen on time now. Um, so that's about it for today's video. Uh, it's a cheap option and it might be better than spending your money on a Samsung official one, but there's obviously the letdowns and the bad parts about it. Also, if I move my phone to the middle or further down, it doesn't charge, so it could be either the case or a problem with the charger itself. Uh, the company is called iWalk, and their product is called the uh, AirPower. They stole the name from Apple, I guess. Uh, I got it for free as part of the Samsung phone package uh, but it shouldn't cost too much money I don't really recommend it but uh, I just posted this video so you should know about it thank you for watching have a nice day please subscribe and like the video